I'm Hannah and welcome to our home. So we bought this home seven years ago and it is an 1800s home and it has so much character we just fell in love with it. So we went down to the town hall just to see exactly what history they had on the house. Just, I mean, we've heard stories about all the houses on our road and it's just really cool. We wanted to learn some history. Well, unfortunately, the latest they go is 1899. So all we know is that it's an 1800s home. That's all we know. So once we moved in, we did some little projects here and there, and I'll try to include some pictures and things like that. Once we've moved in, I have been horrible at documenting everything that we've done just to show you before and after pictures, you know, just to kind of reward our hard work a little bit of what our vision was for this house. So anyway, um, we haven't lived like this the whole time. It was usually just little rooms here and there that we would do. Um, something that you wouldn't be able to notice if you came over so we could just show you it's like hey upstairs or whatever but um the very first room we did was my son's room uh just because who knows how long these projects are gonna last and i just wanted to make sure that his room was complete the entire time we was here and then we surprised my daughter with her room and uh, completed the bathroom and things like that so everything upstairs was completely done first so now we um, experience this wonderful pandemic and we are all quarantined and I just can't take it anymore. I want to see some progress on the house. I want to see something. So I talked my husband into moving our bedroom upstairs into the game room and um, all of our things we just sold, got rid of, whatever, just to make room to free up the downstairs, which you could I'll give you a fun little tour of what we're living in right now um, but anyway um, I would say it was over a week or two we just ordered a dumpster had it pulled up right next to the house so you could just open the window and just throw all the debris out and we tore down all the plaster and lath. And let me tell you, that was a hot mess, dusty as all get out. And we tried our best to wear our masks and keep everything clean. We were cleaning up constantly. And no matter what you do, we even put plastic up to prevent any dust spreading throughout the house. And that doesn't work. I mean, it knocks it down a little bit, but it just doesn't work. So completely, so we were constantly cleaning the entire house. I would not recommend renovating a house while you're living in it, okay? It is awful. So anyway, um, I would say it's been, oh my gosh, like a year and a half since we did that. And we got to the point where we need an electrician to come in to do a few things, because, okay, okay, a lot of things, because we have two electrical boxes. One is outside, brand new. They put that in before we moved in. And then there was one upstairs. And now my husband wanted to get rid of that. You know what? Let's stop calling him my husband. Let's start calling him Mr. Rogue, because anytime I give him a project, he goes rogue. He doesn't listen to anything, any idea that I've had or anything. He's Mr. Rogue, okay, going forward. So Mr. Rogue decided to get rid of that electrical box up in my daughter's room, which is totally fine. I'm totally on board with that. No arguments at all, okay? So anyway, um, now we're looking for an electrician. nowhere to be found we called in probably I'm, I'm pretty I'm at the count but I'm pretty sure it was seven seven electricians to come in to redo this house and just update the electrical I mean most of it was updated but just to get rid of that box and put electrical outlets in where we wanted it and things like that oh my gosh a year and a half later we have our electrical done I am so excited. So I'll have to show you a few pictures um, with this video just to show you everything that we've been living in and I've just had enough. Like I want some progress, I wanna get this done, okay? So anyway, um, electrical gets done and we are so excited, we're ready to get drywall in. Lo and behold, 
my husband's truck breaks down, which means the trailer out back cannot be towed to go get the drywall. So, one more obstacle. What should I have expected? I mean, it's a renovation job. So anyway, weeks and weeks and weeks go by. And so I called up my nephew and asked him if he would be willing to tow a trailer for us to go get the drywall. So that was a job. So now that is where we stand. We have all this drywall in our new space and my husband has worked so, Mr. Rowe has worked so hard at getting the drywall up. You can kind of see it up here, the ceiling. He's, he's really been working hard. And let me tell you, he told me, Hannah, we need to have a drywall lift. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Whatever. Go get it. Let's get it done. You know? Well, he couldn't find one. They were too expensive. Again, it, it, whatever. And so we all get anxious. And I said, well, you're creative. Maybe you could find something that could work, you know? And he's perfected it over time. But it's this post that he, like a two by fours or something and LVL sandwiched and it's totally top heavy. So I'm trying to help lift it on and off this jack and it, it almost came down. So the very first one, my son and I are up on the ladder pushing the drywall against the ceiling, okay? It is so heavy. And I'm telling Mr. Rogue, I'm like, I can't do it, I can't do it. Again, his confidence in me, I'm totally flattered, but I'm just not that strong, okay? So my, my son is 14, almost 15, and he's just, yeah, man, I got it up there. And I, he's just holding it, he's not complaining, nothing. And I'm almost on the verge of tears. And he starts yelling at me, and he's like, do not drop the drywall! And I don't want it to snap. I mean, we worked so hard to get this drywall into the house, finally, you know? And so my arms are shaking. Everything I have, I put it on my head. I'm like, oh my gosh. We should have gotten a video of that. It was so hilarious. I mean, now that I look at it now, okay? But in the moment, I, I'm like, I can't do it, and as much confidence, it really makes me happy that he has so much confidence in me that I can lift things and I can do things, but I can't, okay? I will try very hard, but I'm not that strong. It's kind of a joke that we, we say between our neighbors is that on the weekend, you can always hear a saw going because everybody's working on their houses. We live on a historic brick road. It's great. We love it. So... Anyway, I've always told the wives, I'm like, no matter how much confidence your husband puts in you, just say no. Go get your friends that are much stronger than your wife and get it done. So, yeah, you can see right here we have three pieces of drywall and one more to go. Okay, so I might, I might video that so you can see it. It's pretty comical. All right, let's do this.
I'm on to let it go. Hey, my, my side's up. I don't know what's going on with you. Everybody, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit notification. And give it a huge thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Piece of cake. Totally easy. Hi, I'm Hannah. That's not what I wanted to say. Okay, so we went down to the town hall to see exactly when it was built, just to hopefully get some history. And unfortunately, if it goes past um, 1980, 1899, <laughs> I mean, this construction is out of control, but I've done a terrible job 